Hello and welcome to my channel Desified Ummi. So in this video, I will be guiding you that how you can write your research proposal for all the PhD candidates out there and for all the master's in research programs uh, who also require to submit a research proposal. So before starting this video, I would like to request all of you to please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. So let's get started. Before writing a research proposal, there are some things that you are required to do. So first of all is that you should check the requirements of the university. Sometimes universities have, uh, you know, requirements for you to uh, follow to write a research uh, proposal. Like they have a specific word count that you have to fulfill or they have a specific pattern of headings that you have to follow. So go through the, um, you know, the university's instructions thoroughly. And then after that, you have to decide on the topic on which you want to write a research proposal. So usually what happens is that if you are applying for a scholarship, then the universities give you a specific, you know, research theme. Like when I was applying for my uh, PhD, my university has given a theme of responsible leadership. So I have to think around that to create my research proposal. So when I created my research proposal, I took responsible leadership and added two, three variables with that to develop a research proposal. So it totally depends on you, whether you like to do a qualitative research or a quantitative research. But uh, I would suggest that you do something which is your strong area, like mine was quantitative research. So I just remained in my strong zone and uh, added variables to that because you don't have to just write a research proposal. You have to justify it in the interview. So which is a big part of uh, a university deciding on your application. So it's not something that you will just write on the paper and it will remain there. You have to justify each and everything that you have written in the proposal in your admission interview. So be very, uh, you know, mindful of that and write everything that you can can explain to them and of which you can take responsibility. So when you have decided on the topic, which whatever topic it is, uh, then you would start writing your research proposal. So a research proposal in UK universities is normally around 3000 words that you they would require you to write 3000 words. And uh, the things which are added in a research proposal are basically three main chapters. So I would explain to you um, just in a little bit that how you can write your chapter. Research proposal would include, uh, first of all, your title, the topic which you have decided to write your proposal on so that would be your title and after that you and after that you would have your introduction your literature review and your methodological framework so these are the three main chapters in your research proposal but these are uh, you know very brief they are very short in terms of uh, what we write usually in any research project so in 3000 words you have to manage these three key uh, areas of your research proposal. So first of all is introduction. So in the introduction, you don't have to add many headings if you are not required to do as per the university's instruction. Like my university, GCU, haven't asked me to write any uh, more headings in that or they haven't given me a, you know, a very specific format to follow. So I just started with giving a heading of introduction and then I, you know, explained that why this research is important, what is the rationale of doing it, um, why I am choosing these variables, how all of them can relate, you know, you provide a lot of referencing and, uh, uh, you know, arguments and critically evaluate your choices of variables or why you are doing certain things. So I have explained all of that and then at the end I have given my aims and objectives. So there is just one subheading in the introduction chapter which is aims and objectives. So after the aim and objective uh, you explain, you would go to the next chapter which is literature review. So in the literature review chapter again, I did not have provided any specific headings, but you do according to the requirements of your university. If you are required to, you know, do subheadings, then you should do that. So I just wrote uh, three big paragraphs about each uh, one of my chosen variables 
uh, I started with the independent one and then I followed uh, by the dependent variables and at the end of the literature review section I have given a subheading of uh, theoretical framework in which I have given a diagram of my framework and my hypothesis so that was my literature review and after the literature review you would go to the methodological framework chapter so this is very important because you would um, consider each and everything and uh, give them an overview that how you are planning to conduct this research so it would include all of the things like your philosophical choice the choice of your approach the choice of your research strategy your time horizon how you are planning to collect data and how you would would analyze it um, what are your ethical considerations and at the end limitations so there were many subheadings in my um, methodological framework chapter so if you are using a certain model of uh, uh, you know uh, theoretical framework explanation you can just follow the headings in that model like uh, I have used the research onion model uh, for my explanation so I have used all of the headings uh, in that model to explain my research choices and uh, please um, consider that in UK universities they give a lot of uh, importance to the ethical side of your research so always include a heading about ethical considerations and write that how your research would follow the ethical pattern of doing research that you like like you can explain things like um, um, in my research I would consider the you know uh, anonymity and the privacy of the participants I would consider um, their confidentiality important I would keep my data secure and all of that things because this is very very important for you when you are conducting your research and also give the limitations of your research it's not only about the good things but it also shows that you are uh, aware of the limitations of your research that yes my research is uh, in some boundaries and there are some things which are out of uh, the boundary of my research uh, you know uh, conduction so you would uh, state your limitations there and uh, i would like to suggest a rough uh, you know word count which i, I have uh, developed for my research proposal like I have given around 900 words to my introduction uh, and then I have given around 1100 words to my literature review and rest of the 1200 1250 words were for my methodological uh, framework and uh, also one key thing is the reference list so at the end of your research proposal you would provide a reference list in Harvard referencing style uh, if you don't know that I would give a link down below and you can check that out um, so yeah Harvard referencing style is used in UK universities normally but if they want you to do a different uh, referencing style they would mention it in the instructions section and also give you the details of how you would format your document so just follow the instructions so i hope that you have liked this informative kind of video and if you do then please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys soon in the next video in which i am going to explain visa process to you guys so stay tuned and uh, have a good day so till then take care bye bye